Denali National Park and Reserve in Alaska. I've been up there as a hiking guide for a while, and then I actually started working with the Park Service, developing a citizen science project that was really focused on getting the park visitors, the tourists that come up to Alaska, to participate. So what we have them do is actually download an app, and I'll talk about the app. It's Map of Life. It's a competitor to iNaturalist. Um, have them download the app and record wildlife sightings in the park. So I just got back about a month ago from doing all of the field work, so I don't have a lot of uh, data yet. <coughs> I've done uh, some of the results from the surveys that we have people taking down to. So when I was preparing for this project, I did some literature review because I had to write a proposal because it's my dissertation project. There are not a lot of examples of citizen science projects that are geared towards tourists. So and that's because a lot of citizen science projects you train people, you rely on people for you know, being part of the project for multiple days, multiple years even. Um, so what about the tourists? The park visitors especially, the National Park TV really good uh, venue for this. And I think with appropriate project and appropriate tools, really simple tools and a simple project and a simple task, you can have good tourist citizen scientists. So what I did, this is me and my natural habitat up in Alaska, <laughs> um, we had them download the Map of Life app before they're going to the park. Has anyone been to Denali here? Awesome. Um, so you know when you go to Denali, you can't drive into the park, you've got to ride a bus. So before they got on the buses to go into the park, I told them, download the Map of Life app, and if anybody wanted to, I could give them a really quick tutorial on how to use it. But most folks are pretty uh, user-friendly with their smartphones, so they knew how to use it, could use the app pretty simply. We chose Map of Life instead of iNaturalist for that usability factor. Map of Life is a much simpler app, and I like it better. Uh, so if you have not used Map of Life, please download it and use it. It works anywhere in the world to record wildlife, uh, insects, birds, uh, plants, anything you want to record, they have it on there. And we worked with Map of Life, they're based out of Yale University, to create an offline version of their app that we helped them test in Denali. So they're spreading the offline version to other areas right now, it's only available in Denali. Uh, but you can use the app when you have cell phone service anywhere in the world. So in the app, um, they can record wildlife sightings, and then also there were some surveys to fill out and there was also some safety information about wildlife in the park and some information about the park. So with the surveys, we wanted to get a sense of whether or not they learned anything in the project um, and whether or not they had a better experience in the park by using the app. So citizen science, I kind of think of it in three parts. You got the actual data or the analysis, whatever the science part is, and then you have the uh, participants, the volunteers, and they hopefully are learning something and hopefully have a good experience. So we have them do wildlife quizzes to test their knowledge about the animals, and then we also have them do some place attachment word choices to see if they actually felt like they had any connection to the park, felt like it was a part of them, or had more connection to nature. So this is a quick look at the app. Uh, so Map of Life, super simple. You record the location of your wildlife site. All you need to know is what that animal is. In Denali, there's only 38 mammals, so it's pretty easy uh, to tell. There's only one amphibian, and we have about 160 birds. So. And Denali is pretty easy, pretty easy to identify the animals up there. Um, so when people identify the animals, they also get something back. They have a record list of what they saw, and they can go on the website and actually see a map of all the wildlife that they saw. So I do not have all the species data cleaned up yet, so I can't tell you whether or not the data that was produced, uh, the tourists uh, versus the Alaskans, because I compared the tourists and people who live in Alaska and their data. I uh, don't have the species data cleaned up yet. But I have started to go through all of their survey data. So I do know whether or not they learned anything. Uh, so over here is Alaskans. And this is the difference between their quizzes. So we had them take this little wildlife quiz before they use the app and after they use the app. The Alaskans did a pretty good job in the first place, so we didn't see them change their quiz scores. Their quiz scores didn't get any better because they already did a decent job. Uh, but the tourists over here in the purple, they did better, so they learned something uh, when they're in the park and using the app. So they didn't do very well in the first quiz, but they got most of the answers right on the second quiz. So that's promising that they actually learned something. Um, and we also have them do a word choice, so pick different words. And I, this is not all the words that we have to choose, but uh, we had words that were really tangible ideas like wilderness, nature, wildlife, camping, hiking. Um, and then we have really intangible words like happiness and connection to nature and, and being a part of nature. So we expected that the tourists probably wouldn't choose those intangible words at first, but maybe after they were in the park, they would choose them. Um, and I was right that the, the residents, the Alaskans that filled out the app and, or used the app and filled out the survey, they chose some of these more intangible ideas right off the bat. Um, the tourists, though, we do see a jump in some of those intangible 
versus tangible words. Uh, so they, at least according to the word choice, I need to dive into it a little deeper. Uh, they looked like they had a better experience in the park, felt more connected to nature in the park. 